everybody, look at this. Look at this. That is a welcome to New Hampshire sign. Live free or die, baby. Live free or die. I'm all about it. Woo, thank you, Google. We're in New Hampshire, everybody. Live free or die. Thanks, sponsor this video being Galaxy Lamps. Now, I can honestly say this is an item I've been wanting for forever, ever since I was at my good friend Jay and Shelby's. Guys, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, like, not many things make me squeal, but this is so freaking cool. I love this. So with a galaxy lamp, you can basically turn any room into a planetarium. There's multiple different settings and colors that you can use and you can use it without the app or you can actually use it with the app so you can actually control it mobily as well. And use the app, you just simply search, add on your projector, and then you can actually have unlimited color configurations with an RGB dial. And then you can also change the rotation, the speed, and even set it up on a schedule. You can also set up with an Amazon Alexa or a Google Assistant. So I seriously love my Galaxy projector. And you can get one right now at 15% off, yes, 15% off by using my code Joel Hansen and or by clicking the link down below which is galaxylamps.co forward slash Joel Hansen. Seriously one of my coolest purchases in a very long time. So with that everyone, let's get to the rest of the video. And like I said, use that code Joel Hansen, get 15% off. I'm Joel Hansen here and today I am in Manchester. Manchester, New Hampshire guys. It's been a long time since I've been back in New Hampshire. In fact, it's been like four years. I have been here in like 2015, 16, 2018, but now it is 2022, believe it or not. So here we are guys at the famous Casey's Rib Shack. Here doing their, I think it's called the like dumpster challenge or like shovel challenge anyway this challenge is literally served in a big shovel like a pail like a shovel like a snow shovel it's crazy um, so basically for this challenge we are going to have 30 minutes to complete it. it is about eight pounds of meat including like a big rack of ribs we have pulled pork with all the different meats and you choose three sides um, you can choose standard size you know coleslaw mac and cheese all that good stuff um, but that's about it you uh, get enough free if you complete it. I believe you get a free t-shirt I'm here with our good friend Mr. Joe Burger Challenge, we have Ricardo, all the way from Spain. So yeah, cool to be back up here, guys. Like I said, it's been a really, really long time since I've been here, and uh, I'm pumped. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. This is actually my first food challenge win in New Hampshire. And guys, to mark this celebration, I'm actually going for my 400th, yes, 400th food challenge win. So big days, guys. Hopefully we can win this challenge, guys. Like I said, number 400, and first win in New Hampshire, hopefully. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. And at that, let's get eaten. So let us rock. Hi everyone, so here we are with all the food. Definitely, definitely a lot of it. Um, again, we have Mr. Ricardo, I have Mr. Joe here, guys. And then we have the feed bag. That's what's called the feed bag challenge, guys. So we have the full rack of ribs. We have the half pound pulled pork, half pound pulled chicken. We have the big serving, delicious serving of brisket, which they do have a signature kind of house brisket sauce they throw on it. We also have the sausage. We have to go two sides. I went with coleslaw and applesauce. Applesauce, a little bit of strategy, coleslaw for preference, because I love coleslaw, it looks really good, I like those veggies. Um, Ricardo went with the same. We also have the uh, cornbread, and Mr. Joe went with the applesauce and beans, so he's going more strategy. Um, but that's about it, guys, so 30 minutes, looks really good. Um, gentlemen, we're ready. Ready to go? Yeah. Awesome, so how about we get started here just momentarily? All right, everybody, so how about we get started? I'm ready, restaurant is ready as well. Um, who wants to give us a countdown? Three, two, two one. one. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Let's go. I'm trying to pull off. 
I'm better than you, bro. Get my healthy vegetables. Ladies and gentlemen, get that pulled pork. Bueno? Mm. Es bueno. Bueno. Temperatura? 35 grados. No, que no. <laughs> Alright, watch some meat. How about we just try it? Now let's do the chicken. Que tal la costilla, Ricardo? Oh, chicken. Más dura que la hostia, ¿no? mm. Juicy. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> Use some juicy breasts. <laughs> Just say <laughs> oh. chicken breast. Sí. Está yo el vapor con el pollo. Sí, he dicho que son unas buenas pechugas. Sí, está de coña. Hostia, que duro el pollo. Claro. Por eso. Claro. Pechuga de pollo. Seca. Rica de mar. We also have other sauces here. We have so many barbecue sauces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw in some um, Georgian Gold. Está muy sobrado. Está muy bien. Sí. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and what is undoubtedly one of the most unique looking food challenges I have ever been served, I guess that's what you call it. So here we are with the feed bag guys. Here we are with the giant barbecue challenge. <laughs> How far are we in? Two minutes, for 15 seconds. Coming on about two and a half minutes in, very, very good. Ricardo, yeah? Mm. Joe? Yes. Very yes. good. Yes. Yes. I like it. I see why. This place has had so many awards. We were out for 22 years. That's awesome. By the way, you guys don't have to be like death quiet. You guys can talk and, you know. Let's go, Joe! Huge thanks to everybody who came out to you guys. got much love up here in New Hampshire. Check out some of these other sauces. So this challenge has actually been featured on Man vs. Food, I think twice if I'm not mistaken. Um, it has been noted by KC, the guy from Man vs. Food is his favorite barbecue in America. They have been featured on a large number of different TV shows from the Food Channel, um, the Travel Channel, or the Food Network, the Travel Channel. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely this challenge. Got some vinegar sauce as well. ¿Quieres meterle alguna salsita? ¿Te paso eso a la mierda o qué? ¡Ah, mira! Specifically, the barbecue being served in a shovel um, has got them a lot of publicity, and I can see why. It's a very unique item, and an item that, like a lot of people, like say you come with a party or come with a family, they'll just order for like you know a large number of people, because really there's a lot of food on this. So besides having again the full rack of ribs, we have the half pound of all the other meats. And then we went with our sides. Um, so you have two sides plus the cornbread. Very good, guys. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny to navigate since it's on a shovel. <laughs> we did get to pick the sides. We had options of like coleslaw, beans. We had Brunswick stew. We had uh, even applesauce, um, macaroni and cheese. So there's definitely a lot of options. While I do think there is more strategic options for choosing your sides, um, I think you know there had you know I, I personally went with a little mix of strategy and preference. Like I wanted some coleslaw, so I got some coleslaw, and then I got some applesauce, which was part you know kind of a, uh, a strategic move. But I think beans, Brunswick stew, anything would have been a good choice. Um, I will say the barbecue was really good. Um, this place is one of the most well-known restaurants in New Hampshire, the whole state, and I can definitely understand why. Really enjoyed it. Coming on five and a half minutes in, guys, just absolutely fire. Loving these ribs. 
They go so that the Carolina sauce. Pero si no le quedan costillas. Joe, le ha puesto menos. Ricardo, you're absolutely fantastic. Le queda el pulled pork. Venga, Joe. Give us the work, guys. Sorry. Actually, Ricardo is a good strategy. He's dipping his ribs in his applesauce. Pork and applesauce just go well together. It's a good kind of southern style barbecue. They do smoke with a hickory, and uh, I definitely could have a, you know, I could taste it. It was a nice smoky flavor. Um, they had a large number of different sauces as well, which I was super excited to try and enjoy. And I will say, honestly, I probably would have bought some of them. Um, they were that good, especially their Carolina sauce. Was really, really enjoying that. Beside that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the challenge is uh, 85 bucks, but free if you complete it. Um, there have been, I believe they said five winners in total. It was either three or five winners in total. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's definitely good. enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> All right. We are seven and two guys. I'm loving it. The other gentlemen are well on their way through all their meats, their sides. I'm doing not too bad. I'm just finishing up the ribs. But delicious. And I gotta figure out make sure the shovel doesn't fall. And I gotta perch it somehow. And they had somewhere of like, I don't know, something ridiculous like 500 or a thousand attempts. So it is difficult. It is probably seven ish, maybe a bit more pounds of food. Um, but besides that, it was really delicious. I have some natural commentary through here. I'm going to hop onto this, uh, probably this pulled pork, give this a try. <laughs> nice and much. Try some uh, mustard sauce. I am with my good friend Mr. Richard or Ricardo and uh, Joe from Spain. Uh, this was all of our first food challenge uh, attempts in the state of New Hampshire and uh, this was one of the well really it's kind of counting down one of the states that I had yet to do a food challenge so I was really hoping to be able to get that win and of course enjoy a good meal um, we had a really great showing here so definitely keep track of the travels come on out and support I want to thank everybody who did come out and take their time it was great meeting everybody yeah. Joe Ricardo, how are we doing, guys? Good? Yes? Doing good. Let's go, guys. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The sausage is super juicy. <laughs> that pulled pork was awesome. Love doing that bite of the sauce. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody at KB's. The staff are also super friendly. The place itself is like a 300 year old barn, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Great food, great people. Um, had a really cool experience. I gotta say, I'm super impressed. This is a good barbecue, guys. I didn't know New Hampshire. Yeah. Offered that second day barbecue. Fun fact, New Hampshire doesn't have a sales tax, so when you see on the shelf, it's the same price. So that's cool. Yeah. So it, and I can officially say I ate food off of a shovel or out of a shovel, so definitely very unique. So comment down below what barbecue meat you think is your favorite. Again, we had ribs, brisket, chicken, sausage, um, pulled pork, we had everything. So let me know your favorite barbecue meat down below. And at that, let's ultimately get to the rest of the video. And so speaking with the tax, if we fail, which we won't, we'll only be paying the 84, 95, or 85 <laughs> bucks, so no tax on it, so. And I don't, come on us. By the way, got some fatty brisket here. So good. <laughs> Is 
Ja, ja. Dat fatty brisket is so good. I gotta say, shout out to this Carolina vinegar sauce. I'm usually not like, like I, I like uh, vinegar sauces, but Ron is exceptional. Ricardo is doing absolutely excellent. He is mostly through everything. He's literally like down to a couple ribs. <laughs> Joe is doing fantastic. He has everything gone but the ribs. So guys, we are heading on in strong. We're about 12 minutes, 40 seconds in. So keep up the good work, guys. Oh, go. Go. Oh. And unfortunately, everything comes to an end. So I have some applesauce here. Cheers to everybody here. Cheers. Thanks to Casey and everybody came on out. So really good for you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Se está fumando nueve canutos a mano. No, no, está ahora mismo. Que parece que parece más fácil. No, I'm not finished, guys. Sorry. I got to work I forgot. All right, now I'm actually yeah. done. Yeah. 14 minutes, 10 seconds, roughly. Now we'll cheer Joe and Ricardo on. So let's go, gentlemen. Keep up the good work. Yeah, they got about 15 and a half minutes left, so they're killing it. But uh, delicious. I got, I got, I got another place. Comments to the chef. Excuse me. Those are all compliments to the chef in some culture somewhere it is, so that's what I mean. Yes, yeah, salute. Uh, so, uh, salute. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. So like I said, we're two hundred minutes each other. Continue to kill the challenge. In serio? What is this? Una por minuto. Yeah. Me gusta los cálculos de Dave. Bueno, y el el brain crawl, el pan y el pan. Ya, eso se le ha pasado. Muy bien. Eso es el el sabor es muy bien. Me interesa. Muy bien. El sabor. El sabor es bueno. Bueno. Es bueno. It's good. El sabor es bueno. The taste is good. Sí, muy bueno. And the sauce? Oh, muy favorito. Tu favorito. Excelente. Yeah. So good. So good. Mete, meterle esa salsa. Meterle Carolina. Yo creo que es por la salsa. No, me da igual. Ya. Lots of sauces if you want some. Vamos. Vamos. Keep up the good work. Definitely yeah, yeah, the, the, the yeah, quicker. Yeah, my suggestion yeah, is yeah, yeah, pour yeah. as much sauce as you can on the ribs. Yeah. You yeah. 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 Ricardo is killing it. Ricardo is literally just down to a few scraps. He's going to be finishing just momentarily. Yeah. And then Joe is doing real well. Joe's just basically down to the ribs. So let us continue to cheer these gentlemen on. And I'm going to adjust this camera a little bit so you can see their food a bit better because they are absolutely doing fantastic, guys. So huge, huge, huge. Congratulations to them. It's definitely a lot of food. They came all the way from Spain to enjoy some good American barbecue, and we definitely came to the right spot. So we got 10 minutes. 
Bro, about, no, about nine, nine. Minutes, just over nine minutes, guys. Keep oh, up the good work. You're doing real well. Doing real good. Ricardo's come in for a finish. Joe, like I said, basically just down to the ribs. Keep it up, guys. Let's go. I believe in you. Alright guys, we are six, six minutes left, yes, yes. we are, uh, 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 I think Quattro minutes in guys, yeah. 24 minutes in, uh, they are doing really well, again Ricardo literally just has like maybe two handfuls left, so keep up the good work my friend, doing really well, Joe is again making his way through the ribs, he is probably like maybe half left, so keep it up my friend, keep it up, Ricardo got like a mouthful left. He's doing really, really good. Yeah, yeah, Coming in for that win. Come on. There we go, look at it. Okay, we go. Okay, we go. Okay, we go. Okay, we go. Te puedes hasta marcar un detalle y esperar. He's gonna make it, dice la gente. Eso significa que lo haces. Vale, vale, vale. Trágame. Un minuto largo, un minuto largo. Relax, relax. Chill. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Tranquilo. Yeah. All right, guys. 29 minutes. 29. 29. 29. So, guys. Ricardo just finished, he's really, really good. Joe, Joe got 50 seconds slap fish or something. Muy bien, muy bien. bien, Ricardo. So, uh, congratulations. Congratulations, you guys. Is, uh, is Joe still going? Hey! I went to invite my friends. So Joe's calling quit, so he's sharing with his friends there. But uh, at that, I will say they are very, very good. So at that, uh, I'll wait till they all the food. Got it. Got it. All right, guys, so at that, I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody here at Casey's. This was, again, amazing barbecue. I didn't know New Hampshire offered such excellent food. Um, I loved it. I think my favorite meat were probably either the ribs, the brisket. It was all so good, though. Ricardo, Ben? Sabor, sabor, bien. Está bueno. Está bueno. Ricardo. 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 Ricard
too. Yeah, I think my favorite the was the brisket too. Brisket, awesome brisket. guys. We got favorites brisket down here, but uh, enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah, it was good. It was good. So Couldn't make it a time, but it was very, very good. Hey, it was. <laughs> so with that, guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks everybody here at KC. Definitely worth a trip if you're all in the area or coming through town. New Hampshire is also a very, very, very beautiful, beautiful state. Um, so again, huge thanks to Ricardo and Joe. Congratulations to Ricardo and Joe. Congrats, my friend, because you at least got a great tasting meal. Yeah. So, like yeah. I said, guys, how can yeah. you? Uh, like I said, thank you so much, everybody, for coming on by. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, of course, the next time, see happy, the hungry, happy eating. And at that, just I'll come around because I can't reach. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.